in our society, we need to treat people equitably, and whatever their gender preference is, we need to do what we can to treat them in a fair and equal way. Being able to do what I want and not having to really think about it, just being able to follow my passion. I can get a job, I can go to college, and I can do what I want despite being a girl. We're gonna bring people down to make every, to like level everybody um, on the same level. I think everybody should be afforded the opportunity. It's not only women's issues, it's everybody's issues in this country. A way to measure equality, to say uh, whether impacts are fair between different groups. No one is above one another. We are all equal and we should be treated as such. Well, like it's giving people the opportunity to be equal. It's giving everybody a chance to come up and be just like everybody else as they are and love who they love and be who they want to be. There are no professions that are not open to women and women are able to actually be at those positions as well. Not only having everyone on one one level, but also looking at our intersections of experiences, where we come from, social categories, all the things that shape us into who we are, and then to actually push people onto a level playing field rather than just putting people on one level, but actually looking at where we're situated. I think it's important to show what I care about and to keep fighting for justice. Because I want to teach them the same thing, that we are all created equal and that even though we're not treated that way yet. The fact that women and, uh, and others are treated because of how they look or how they identify themselves or how they feel just it doesn't feel right. A global conversation about the ways in which superpowers like the U.S. and also Europe, um, the decisions that we make have a huge effect um, on people's lives, livelihoods. I think it's really important for all, all of us to come together and say that this is not okay. Um, change needs to happen. I think it's very important that we challenge each other's beliefs and ideas and that's the only way we can really grow as a country. The new generation working with 20, 30 year old college students, so many of them are behind these issues too. So I'm here for my daughter. We're important and that we matter and that we're strong together. That we can look at the way in which the decisions that we make in the United States, whether that be with our presidents, um, other elected officials, laws, policies, actually affect not only those of us who are here in the U.S., but also people around the world. People care, we're here, and we're making our voices heard. Everybody has the right to be their voices heard. We need to, like, take action and we can't just stand by and let people strip us of our rights. My great nieces um, and for uh, my family members who have come before me and we don't want to lose any of the rights that we've had. So every step that I take, I'm, I'm stepping for them. More Americans who, uh, who believe in equal rights, who believe in justice, and uh, I, everyone is out here and you know, we're, we, are, we are protesting, but we need to be united afterwards, and, I have, and that's what gives me hope. Every day when I wake up, that gives me hope. I understand the importance of social justice and also self-expression um, and the need for us to have a voice. So I'm here with that hope and transmitting that to my daughter. Being here today gives me hope. Being surrounded by hundreds of thousands of my closest female friends. My hope for the future is that people in America will be able to openly talk with one another. My hopes would be that all people have uh, equal opportunities and access to uh, mobility. Um, I think that's really important. Um, I think uh, the future where we could have uh, equal rights and equal feelings of safety and security, as well as equal chances for education and for opportunities to develop our unique skills, I think that would be an ideal for the future. Hopefully everyone will be able to get along and respect each other as it should be. I hope that I don't have to, or like that all women don't have to work like twice, ten times as hard to get to the same like high ranking position as men do.